नमस्कार हेलो नव वेलकम व्यूअर्स यो वाचिंग द स्पेशल प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ सनसेट टीवी संवाद फ्रॉम द आइकॉनिक लोकेशन ऑफ कर्तव्य पथ विद अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट मिनिस्टर फॉर हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स एंड पेट्रोलियम मिस्टर हरदीप सिंह पुरी सर वेलकम सनसेट टीवी एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस वी आर कमेंसिंग आर कॉन्वर्सेशन फ्रॉम दिस आइकॉनिक स्टैचू ऑफ नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस नाउ कर्तव्य पथ सर यू सेड इट इज ऑल अबाउट ब्रेकिंग द शैकल्स ऑफ कोलोनलिज्म द ऑपोजिशन सेड इट इज अबाउट रिक्लेमिंग हिस्ट्री or about political hegemony but you said it is about reclaiming what was yours now from kingsway camp to rajpat to kartavya path how do you look at this journey you know the, you have to define the point at which your journey started did the journey start in uh, 1757 with the battle of plassey i don't think so i am a student of history and i think the journey started 7000 years earlier and that 190 years of a colonial association was what it is a small percentage of our history now words have meanings so what words do you use i would like to say that in the spirit in which the honorable prime minister has termed this kartavya path this is something which means taking pride in celebrating our history our culture and reclaiming what is rightfully ours now the transition in 1947 from kingsway to rajpath was a translation i mean kingsway and you had the uh, statue of uh, george the 5th okay under a canopy which one was it under uh, uh, wh- what happened you were an independent country and you still had the emperor of the colonial dispensation occupying pride of place in something which is the artery of governance leading from here to rashtrapati bhavan north block south block uh, parliament house etc now surely surely this is my view yes many of us i was born in 1952 i was born 5 years after that but many of my seniors have for many years said let us let us reclaim what is rightfully ours let us celebrate the fact that we are one of the oldest civilization and let us in the process create an india not till 2047 this governance architecture which is being reshaped is not only for the time when we are 100 years old but it will be for the time when next 200 years after all these buildings started when i mean the conceptualization was done after 1920 or so mm-hmm. the year uh, subhash chandra bose ji was appearing in the ics examination at that time an independent india was not on the horizon netaji was also appearing to join a civil service of the colonial power but within one year he realized what was at stake he had a change of heart yeah. why is it taken successive dispensations in india such a long time so when we are celebrating 75 years of our independence a very good thing has happened the honorable prime minister first of all decided in spite of the pressures of the pandemic to start the program when it was started we didn't know that there was going to be an outbreak of pandemic equally when this structure was being built you didn't know that india was going to be an independent country and it was definitely not designed for the legislature of an independent country or this was not designed for a, the new india so i think three things have happened one is we are building not only for 2047 but we are building for the next 200 plus years we are reclaiming what is rightfully ours third let's take pride in the fact and i i feel so you know with great humility i must tell you i spent 39 years in another profession and i when i say that these lawns and the way they've done up and the way the public is accepting them yeah. is second to none they have been compared to the uh, greenery around the eiffel tower and then look at what was being said yeah. look at what was being said astronomical cost the same money can be spent is going to cost 20000 25 one outlandish figure even put it at 40000 yeah. you yeah. could have spent the money on the covid i mean did we allow the covid uh, thing to interfere at all anywhere i mean i was in vidarbha for the last 3 uh, days and i asked everybody in large audiences aap mein se koi bhi hai jisko do vaccine doses nahi lagi सब ने बोला लगी है आप में से कित, कितने हो जिनको तीन वैक्सीन डोजेज लगी है लॉर्ड ऑफ हैंड्स रेस सो लुक वन इज नॉट एट द एक्सपेंस ऑफ द अदर एंड आई थिंक दिस इज समथिंग फॉर विच द इंटायर नेशन 
should celebrate, including my friends in the opposition who were coming up with all kinds of, uh, you know, argumentation about uh, uh, inch by inch, uh, trick by trick, we are uh, doing something illegal. Aray, zameen hamari hai. Hum sarkari daftaro pe ek saal mein ek hazar, ek hazar crore kharch kar rahe hai kiraay pe when we own the land and we can seat our own civil servants in a better way. Right, uh, so you said it's all about the people of India reclaiming what was it's, rightly It belongs theirs. to them. It belongs to them. Ab, ab, Let's yeah, find out whether yeah, they're no, celebrating. No, I, I, I let me do the talking because you are the anchor. And नमस्कार कैसे हैं आप मैं आपसे सिर्फ एक सवाल पूछना चाहता हूं अब कर्तव्य पात को माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने इसका इनोग्रेशन किया उसके बाद आप लोग आने शुरू है आपको अगर पहले जो था और अभी में क्या अंतर नजर आता है सर अभी बहुत बड़ा अंतर यह है कि ये खुद का लगता है बिकॉज इट हैज बिन इंडियनाइज नाम और नाम नमक और निशान ये तीनों चीज़ें इंडियन लगती है दो वी हैव बिन दो वी हैव गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस इन 1947, बट वी स्टिल हैड दैट कलोनियल माइंड सेट एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज बिन डूइंग वंडरफुल जॉब ब्यूटिफुल थैंक यू आपका नाम क्या है सो माय नेम इज विराज अम्बाव ने विराजन विराज अम्बाव ने अम्बा गुड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू हेयर एट शुरू में कुछ लोग कहते थे जब हम इस पर काम कर रहे थे कि आप ये जो शाम को पिकनिक का स्पॉट होता है ठीक है जो और उस पर मैंने ट्वीट भी किया वो लोग कहते थे कि यहाँ पे जो हरियाली है वो कम हो जाएगी तो मैं उस समय थक गया कहते कहते हरियाली बढ़ेगी हमने 101 एकड़ ग्रीनरी यहाँ पे प्लांट की है आपको ये लगा कोई ग्रीनरी कम हुई है यहाँ पे बड़ी है आपने देखा वो वाटर बॉडीज कितना हुआ है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपसे बात करके बड़ी खुशी हुई धन्यवाद आप कहाँ से आए कहाँ से अच्छा क्या नाम है आपका हरिशंकर अच्छा आप हरिशंकर जी ये बताइए पहली बार आए हैं नहीं दिल्ली हमको लग रहा है आठ महीने से आठ महीने से आ रहे हैं तो अभी आज यहाँ पहली बार आए कर्तव्य हाँ, पथ हाँ, दो साल से लग था उसके बाद ना उसका पहली बार है कैसा लग रहा है अच्छा लग रहा है अच्छा चलिए So, Mr. Puri, the enthusiasm was palpable. Well, I'll tell you, I have always maintained that there is no better instrument or method of capturing it than going to the people themselves, because there were interpretations being put on this by a large number of people who were self-proclaimed. So now you ask the people, and there is one uh, young person I met just now. I was very impressed. I said, "Are you here for the first time?" He said, "No, I'm here for eight years." Yeah. Yeah. COVID ke dauran nahi aaya, ab uske baad mein aao. I mean, that is the proof. Sir, now we are here, which is of course called the Bollywood of Duty. Now, one argument, of course, one would understand that it's all about breaking the shackles of colonialism, claiming what is yours. But sir, why was this revamp required in terms of amenities, the facilities for the people? all great countries especially the ones that grow with the passage of time and i was very happy that now everybody acknowledges that in uh, the year 1700 i mean before british colonialism arrived we were contributing a quarter of the world's gdp now that came down to a bare 3% by 1950 after 190 years of colonialism this structure was built 100 years ago now do you expect something built 100 years ago and that too not for an independent country but for a colony for the governance architecture of a colony this prime minister is building the architecture for the next 200 years so let me give you an example parliament this was never designed to be the parliament of an independent country it was a place for the imperial legislature yeah. now 
in 2026 or 2027, the number of seats in the Lok Sabha will go up from the current 540 plus or so to nearly 7 800. There isn't even sitting space for these 540. And what you've done is you've hollowed out the inner parts of parliament and you've taken out and you've put in more seating, you put in um, air conditioning vents, etc. And this was designed for seismic zone yeah. 2. Now you're in seismic zone 4. So we will need to refurbish the existing parliament, which we will. But you need to seat your members. You need to give them the dignity of each one of them having a separate chamber, yes. which we will provide now. They will not only have their own chamber, they'll have one or two research assistants helping to do their research so that they, the quality of the debate is better informed. Yeah. And this is the infrastructure required for that. So it's building for the future. It's not one against the other. Reclaiming your heritage, your culture, reclaiming what is rightfully yours in terms of the mindset and building for the next 200 years. This parliament which is now coming up, I think we'll be able to deal not only with the uh, delimitation or the uh, reconfiguration exercise, but will, it will also provide other facilities. The existing parliament building can be a, an institute for parliamentary studies, for research, for showcasing India's democracy. This is a people's parliament, all right? And you have a situation in which the government of the day, which is democratically elected, is building this infrastructure for the people, hence the Kartavya. And therefore, it is an overall rehaul, not only of the mindset, the, you know, uh, undoing the uh, last um, shackles or vestiges of the colonial mindset, that is one part. Mm -hmm. But it, you could easily do that by renaming it and not building a new this thing. Now, I don't know, I don't have a count on the number of people who come here every day, but as we saw, yeah. when we were near Netaji's uh, statue, there are people, and you ask them, what is the feeling before and after, and you get your answer. And look at the kind of narrative that was being placed. Cost, so, what are the ingredients of a false narrative? One, you are in COVID, you are spending money, yeah. this will derail your... Welfare project, welfare project you are uh, caring for the people and providing them the free vaccine. Now, what is the answer to that? As of two days ago, we had distributed 217 crores of free vaccine. Whenever I go to a public function, I invariably ask them, is there anyone here who has not had two vaccine doses? Not a single hand gets raised. I said, how many of you had three doses? Many hands go up. Isn't that an achievement in and of itself? That during the pandemic, we got this Kartavya path, this greenery, you know, 16.5 kilometers of additional pathways, pedestrian walks, 101 acres of greenery planted, six bridges over the uh, water bodies. Earlier, what happened? You had a water body, the area beyond it was not accessible. Right. And we got it done during the 18 months. But, Kritiji, let me tell you another thing. The ones who wanted to derail the project didn't stop there. They went to the High Court, yeah. they went to the Supreme Court, they did all manner of things, even when the project is ready. The other day, somebody downloaded some Google photographs, and then when I counted them, he said, no, 23rd, 24th, 23rd, everything had been destroyed. One worthy says, here is Mr. Modi's 600 crore project, and it's in shambles. Figures of 20,000, 25,000, 28,000 crores. Somebody asked me, what is the figure? I said, look, we can scientifically and technically do a, what it should cost in terms of material, depending on steel and safe rise. But this is not a 600 uh, uh, crore project so far. This is a 400 plus crore project. Parliament, the whole thing, PM's residence is going to cost. Are bhai, kaha? It's not, it's, a, it's going to be the residence of whoever is the prime minister in the next 200 years. All right, let us say, making allowance for long life and good health. This is not for an individual. This is institution building for the country. And this is something I would have thought we should rejoice in, we should celebrate. And look, does it give you, fill you with a sense of satisfaction and pride when you come to lush greenery? Okay, you look at the water bodies. Okay, it has aerated uh, uh, systems in them. Yes, we'll have to maintain it. 
because wherever there is a human being etc there will be some littering there will be some uh, uh, you know some carelessness but i look around me i mean i i don't see any uh, because somebody is maintaining it yeah. so the limited point i make is this is an occasion for rejoicing and this is about india's democracy and where does democracy reside in the end of the day sovereignty resides in the people and that democracy is celebrated and articulated in that new building which is coming up there so we just talk about the new parliament building in a bit but before that you talked about celebration rejoicing lush greenery those water bodies so what about the other central vista projects what about their execution what about the inauguration look they are all in different stages of uh, implementation when we were uh, in the final stages of this kartavya path now so named we had a little bit of a dilemma if you were to ask my colleagues in the civil service bhai isko kab inaugurate karna each one of them would invariably turn around and say do hafte aur le lo teen hafte ko chhota chhota kaam hai you know my analogy to that is if you rent a new house or if you buy a new house are you going to wait till the last little scratch is dealt with or you will have the bhumi poojan done you will move in and little work will carry on it is not my case that we finished every inch of the work here there will be some parts where little attention to detail will have to be given but you know i make it a point i tell both the experts and i tell those who are our critics please come and have a look at it because wisdom and knowledge about how to do this is not written in stone anywhere and i think the pradhan sevak is the most humble of the lot where he has done this for the people but i don't think he is averse to getting some advice but the advice should be of a constructive one if the advice is ye sara kharab hai this is inch by inch you know this has been an illegal project i don't know what we are talking about now i would have thought in any system that the credibility of the critic should be something that should worry the critic but here you have a situation it's a shoot and scoot i write something silly or make a silly comment and then when i'm uh, countered i run away and then what happens is if something goes wrong and they're looking for something to go wrong i mean i'm sure there are people who are um, you know looking around yeah yeah there so koi yahan patdi thodi tooti hai koi is ko redesign karna hai अरे भाई हमने कहा थोड़ा छोटा छोटा काम तो साथ साथ होता रहेगा बिकॉज इतने बड़े प्रोजेक्ट में जहां पे आपने 101 एकड़ हरियाली रीप्लांट की है ये कहना कि वहां पे कोई साइड में वो नहीं होगा इधर उधर की कोई चिंता का विषय नहीं होगा होगा पर आपसे मेंटेन हो रहा कि नहीं हो रहा और देखिए द क्राउड इंक्रीज आई डिड माई लास्ट टू इंटरव्यूज हेयर इन द मॉर्निंग एंड इट वॉज अ डिफरेंट एम्बियंस टूडे वेन यूर मीटिंग इन द इवनिंग एंड ऑफकोर्स you have to do your uh, recording before the sun this thing but you see in the evening it's a completely different this thing and then other systems are coming into play i mean there will be you know the performances the other people wanting to say i saw an impromptu beauty contest going on here a few minutes before we arrived so if people embrace this as their favorite go to place for an evening with their family and this is what it is so the public acceptance when we were near netaji um, statue i asked you yes can we speak to some of the people and please you, they spoke to me in your presence but also speak to them independently get a get a survey a readership feedback on how this is proceeding mr puri three things that you've always maintained even in my previous interactions or interviews a it's all about or it's for people of india b it's about executing the vision of prime minister and c it's about teamwork So as a minister for housing and urban development I'd like to ask you what was the biggest challenge that you faced during this course of course Kartavya Path new parliament building one biggest challenge that you can underline I wouldn't say a challenge I faced it's not I me I said you always said it's about team work it's yeah? it's about the team faced you saw a concerted attempt for reasonably intelligent people reasonably they appeared responsible people but just wanting to derail the project they said you know the people it's a it's a covid hazard then we tried to point out to them that the people who are working here are sanitized they are 
fully uh, wearing uh, protective equipment, uh, uh, gear, yeah. that they have been vaccinated, all that we told them, but they still didn't stop. I think the point when I realized what was happening is, when out of the hundreds of projects which were going on throughout the city, this one was being singled out for legislative action yes. to stop. So I one day asked somebody, but what about the other projects which are going on in India? How come in Delhi, how, in the national capital region, how come you're not bothered to focus on them? So it appeared. So they called it a vanity project. They called it this, that and the other. So what were the ingredients of the false narrative? Put a figure on it which appears astronomical. Suggest that astronomical figure of expense will be at the expense of uh, COVID-related um, uh, 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 you know, um, outreach, vaccine, and that hundreds and thousands of people are going to die. That was the thing. Yeah. Number two, they said that we, what we were doing was something illegal. I mean, and why was it illegal? Well, the environmentalists said that Jamun ke ped jane wale hai. The uh, uh, mummy papa uh, uh, ice cream brigade said that our Haryali jane wali hai. Each one had his own false narrative. And then 106 ostensibly responsible people, some of them who'd risen to the point of cabinet secretary, foreign secretary, signed a piece of paper without reading it. Yeah. So one had to go there. And finally, what I realized was when, so I'm talking about what those, what the anatomy of a false narrative is. Create a false narrative by saying it's too costly. B, hundreds of thousands of people are going to die because the money required for the vaccine or that. And then turn around and say, you're doing something illegal. And go to the courts for it. Now, the High Court threw it out, the Supreme Court threw it out. What we need from them now yeah. as a fitting response is for the general public to whom this project has been de dedicated, to whom Kartavya Par, to give these people a befitting reply. So I think somebody should draw up a list of all the worthies. One honorable member says he visited the parliament in Malaysia and found it beautiful. When will India have such a nice parliament? It's coming up. Have a look. Look, I am a trained uh, diplomat. Yes, I never draw analogies between the quality of a parliament building in one place or another. Please don't compare it. But if you find this inferior in any respect to any legislature in the world, and believe me, I have been to European uh, legislative chambers, I have been to the Brazilian one, I have been to in countries in Africa, to European ones, to Japan. I think when the parliament building is ready, these same guys who were making a shrill noise need to do some introspection. So this question is of paramount importance to me because I represent the Parliamentary Channel of India. So we're talking about the winter session, we're talking about the new parliament building, we're talking about the 75 years of independence. Now again, you talked about the shrill voice. So we also heard that during uh, uh, the emblem, when you saw the emblem and now... You know the lion which from, went from being a domesticated uh, pet and went up, you know, 30 meters and became a roaring, uh, representing the robust phase of our, uh, you know, party. I heard that kind of talk. Right. I mean, all I tell them, well, look at a scale. You know, the original uh, Sarnath uh, lion is at the ground and one meter high, okay? Then this one is at a height of... 30 meters, you know what, 30 meters on top of that parliament, okay? Yeah. And it is seven times the size, roughly. For them. And if the mouth is open so much, and you open it this much, some teeth will show. The rest is in the, uh, in how do you say, the mindset of the uh, admirer. They say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, and the uh, amount of fear that the lion is able to uh, generate also, may, maybe is the person who is wanting to be this thing. So let's be serious about this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had I was walking down here, and uh, one of the your uh, I shouldn't say that I should use my words carefully. I can be uh, one of your uh, professional. This thing asked me, but you know, somebody said somebody who must have been a uh, a very relevant and respectable person who probably is trying to reclaim uh, relevance or claim relevance said, but you know, another political leaders also put up statues in UP. I said, let's have a serious discussion. Are these the kind of statues which are being put up in some state uh, uh, city or something? I mean, do you or do you not realize the historical significance yeah. of what it is to have uh, uh, Netaji there? I mean, look at the profound, profound thinking behind it. You have a situation, he starts off. He starts off, 
by appearing in the civil service exam, is willing to be an instrument for state governance, uh, qualifies in the ICS exam, stands fourth in the overall exam. One year later, he decides that's not what he wants to do. In 1930, he becomes the president of the Indian National Congress, has a, again I choose my words carefully, has a difference of opinion within courts, and thereafter he sidelined. He thinks that the policies that you are adv yeah. advocating at that point of time will not result in independence early. We are talking about 1930, okay? He then goes and looks for support wherever he can get it, raises an Indian National Army, and then the Navy mutiny takes place. Now, I am willing to have a seminar with any student of history. I have been a student of history, I have taught for a year in Delhi University. What is the causation? Clearly, Gandhiji is the father of the nation. He converted an elitist lawyers movement into a mass movement by adding the peasantry and the people. Then he had the Khilafat in 1919, he had other things. But these are all people undergoing transformation. Now, Gandhiji is the father of the nation. Yeah. But if I had to give anyone else um, a place under that uh, 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 canopy, surely not George V, all right, in late 60s you removed him. But I can't think of anyone more uh, worthy than Netaji who undertook a boat journey. Look, I've had a personally long association with this. I was a young third secretary and second secretary in our embassy in Tokyo. When with the India desk officer in the Gaimo show, I used to go every year to thank the chief priest, head priest yeah. of the Renkoji temple where Netaji's ashes were immersed. Somebody started trolling me on that also. Netaji is very much alive. You know, so you, have, you keep getting non-serious issues coming into this. But I think the speed with which, I mean, I'm, I'm saying, when the Honorable Prime Minister spoke the other day, my, you know, I just come back from a, a five-day trip, a very uh, tiring trip. But when I saw what the acceptance was, not only the people sitting there, but what the acceptance was in terms of the country at large. Absolutely. So, even if this debate has been put to rest, even if it has been put to rest, I don't think fully yet, but as the other segments, this is the first segment of a transformative project. Yes. But slowly we'll see the uh, parliament will be ready. Um, Again, sir, parliament. Look, we work You've on best index. I've like been asked this and I'm, I'm going to be asked this question time and again till you actually, uh, you know. Have the winter session there. You, well, winter session there, I didn't say which date the winter session would be. Yeah. But, you know, it, work is going on at a breakneck speed. What you see from the outside is the claddings, etc. being put up. But you know, the interiors are also being fitted at the same time. So we will take a call, exactly whether it's done day X or 10 days later. But we are very much working in the direction of the winter session of parliament being uh, conducted there. So sir, the winter session of new India will be new parliament. That is the best endeavour basis on which we are working, madam. And as we said in the case of this, you know, we had a one timeline was that 26 January parade would held here. Yes. My personal preference would have been to delay it a little and, you know, do it. But I think everyone thought that 75th year of independence, the Republic Day parade should be here. Look, people have worked round the clock, Shram and yeah. the Honorable Prime Minister honoured them. The Honorable Prime Minister also said that next year when the Republic Day parade takes place on 26 January, all these members who worked round the clock during the pandemic will be his personal guest. And I think that is what I regard as the cutting edge uh, 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 gesture which needs to be made and which the Honorable Prime Minister has made. Right. So we'll wait for that day. But uh, Mr. Puri, thank you so much for joining us uh, for this candid conversation and putting things in perspective. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot.